Alrighty, so this is the third video in the My First Car video playlist. And in this video here, we're going to continue working on the main body of our My First Car. And you can see at, at this point, we have done the main body down the bottom here. We've done our canister housing at the top here, which has been filleted into the body. And that canister housing has the hole part way down it, as you can see there. Now at this point in time, we're going to start working on the cutouts into the side of the body which allow for the side pods of and the front and rear wings of our uh, F1 car. So we're going to go ahead and do this back one to start with. So I'm going to head into the sketch I've been working on, or the model I've been working on, and I'm going to need to start a new sketch. So we're going to click Create Sketch and select the face that we're working on. It's going to be the outside face here. And specifically, we're going to be working down this back section here. So I'm going to go forward to the next page of the drawings. And you can see here that it gives us some different information about it. We've got a hole in the middle of it. It's given us some dimensions for where the two lines of it need to be. Um, it shows us that we've got an extrusion cut, then an axle hole. It shows the height of our axle hole from you know where that needs uh, where that needs to come from, um, and gives us a little bit of a detail there. So we're going to go ahead and start that now. Now that I've started that sketch, what I'm going to need to go for first before I do anything else is in the sketch tool palette we have a thing called an offset. Right now an offset allows us to offset a specific line on a sketch, in this case it's the outline of the side of the body here, by a certain amount. And in our case we're going to do it by 2.5 millimeters. And what we'll find is that we get this extra line and a new profile outside the main body. Now what this allows us to do is create a sketch in that area to do our cutout so that it cuts nicely into the fillet around our canister housing. So what I'll start with is just a standard line. I'm just going to put a normal line at the very back here, making sure that it's vertical. And we can see that it's vertical. I'll just zoom in a bit here so we can make sure we get it in the right place. See that it's vertical because we have that little vertical constraint which is in green right now. So we'll click there. We've got our first line. Now before we do the second one, so we're just doing this little one back here, we're going to dimension that line from the very end point of our car, just here. Okay, and we're going to dimension that by 25.5 millimeters, as is shown on the drawing there. Next, we're going to go for another line. So much the same as that first one, a little bit further forward now, between those two offset lines that we just talked about. All right, and again, dimensioning it, hitting the D key to get that dimension tool. And we're going to dimension this one by 39 millimeters. So we've come 25.5 in from the end and then 39 from that first line. Now that we've done that basic operation, right, we could extrude straight from this point and there would be no issue with that. We could also go ahead and draw our axle hole in the center of the gap and extrude that one from this sketch also. For ease of simplicity, we're gonna go with just the straight extrusion right now for that whole area. So now that we've done that sketch, we can see everything's fully constrained, nothing's blue. We're going to hit Stop Sketch, we're going to select our Extrude tool, and we're going to select that area there and the two small areas, two above and below it. I'm going to change my angle now so that I can see what's going on. And if we have a look here on the drawings, we need to cut that away by 20.5 millimeters. So I'm going to type that in here. And something you'll notice straight away once I start typing this in is it's not going to look right. So it's pulling it out. Now, in order to do a cut using Autodesk Fusion 360, we need to make it a negative number, all right? And then it's going to cut it away into the body there. All right, once we've done that, we can hit OK, and we've now cut away that rear wheel section. Now, to go ahead and make that hole that we see there, we've got to start yet another sketch. Now, we're going to do that just by clicking the Create Sketch and selecting that inner face now. All right, it'll bring us around on it like that so we can see it nicely. And if we have a look here at that hole, it says it needs to be a 6 millimeter hole that goes all the way through. It's 19.5 millimeters from the front of that rear wheel cutout. All right, and it's 10.5 millimeters from either the top or bottom of that side pod, which is this area here. So now that I've started that sketch, I'm going to go into my sketch tool palette and select the circle tool. I'm just going to use a center diameter circle for this. And right now I'm just putting it anywhere. I'm not worried about the dimension of it. I'm not worried about its placement. We're going to add those in now. 
So we've got a circle there. Let's start with a dimension for the diameter of the circle. We'll make that six millimeters, as you can see there. Next, we're going to dimension it in from the front of this wheel cutout, and it happens to be 19.5 millimeters. So selecting that front line, selecting the center, 19.5. Okay, so that's set at the correct distance back, and now we need to set its height. So we'll select the base of the car over here, the center of the hole, and we'll make that 10.5 millimeters. And there we go. It's fully constrained and we've got the spot that we're going to cut through using either the extrude tool or the hole tool. So I'm going to select the extrude tool now. I'm going to select that circle. And I'm going to change my direction. Uh, well, we leave my direction as one side. I'm going to start at the profile plane and I'm going to make the extent to an object rather than specifically um, a distance. And I'm going to select the plane which is on the opposite side of the car, which we know to be this one here. All right, and that's going to cut it all the way through the car there. We'll say, say OK. And if we flip around to the other side, you can see we've got the axle hole all the way through there now. So that's our rear wheel housing there. So now we've got to do the one up the front here. So we'll skip through to the next page and it gives us some more details. So you can see this one here is a bit more straightforward. It's 74.5 millimeters from the front tip of the car to the line here. And we are extruding or cutting it by 17.5 millimeters. And again, we have the same hole for the axle. So let's start that one off. I'm going to start a new sketch again on that side face. And I'm going to start with a line, any old line, not being really careful of where I'm putting it just yet. Okay, so we've got our line, now we need to dimension it. So I'm going to select the front tip of the car and the line, and we're going to make that 74.5 millimetres, just like that. Right, we now have to cut that away. So 17.5 millimetres is the depth that we're after. So we'll stop sketch, and we'll go to our extrude tool. I'm going to select that area. I'm going to go negative 17.5. So remembering it needs to be 17.5 and negative so that it cuts away. Hit enter, and there we go. So we've got that front cut out there. So that was quite quick, that one, nice and easy. Now we've got to go ahead and do the hole. So I'm going to start another sketch on that area. Go ahead with my sketch tool, select a circle, center point circle in this case. All right, there's my circle there. Time to dimension it. So hit the D key for the dimension tool. Select the circle. Give it a dimension of six millimeters in diameter. Now I'm going to make it 19.5 millimeters from the back edge of this area. So from the center there to the edge, 19.5. There we go. And I need to set its distance in from the base of the car here. So I'll select the center again and the base of the car and we'll make that 10.5 millimeters, just as it says on the drawing, just here. And the very last task now that we've done that, we'll hit stop sketch again. We're gonna select the extrude tool, select the area, and again, rather than using a distance, we'll select two object, and we'll select that back plane, and press OK. And there we go. We've cut our axle hole through there. So we now have the front and rear wheel housings, okay? for our F1 in schools car, the My First Car. Thanks for watching this video.